States every year. Bruce? Well, Dan had Chopper 5 out flying in the yes. better part of the day when it was, you know, <laughs> calm and not a lot of convection Boy, going on out there this afternoon. You're becoming a meteorologist. You can look at this, can't you, and see where those thunderstorms are? It looks are. like a classic summer thunderstorm pattern, but there I'll bet go. you can tell me it's something different. It's a cold front coming in, and there we go. There's Chopper 5 out on the Great Salt Lake. And you know what? The Great Salt Lake has risen more in, than its historical rise in 1983. In other words, we've and we still haven't finished with the melt. Now that's the Stansbury Mountains and the Ochre Mountains in the background. What a beautiful day on Chopper 5. Okay, let's get to business. Here's a time lapse of those thunderstorms rolling off of the Ochres. You get one. Here's the second one coming in and the last one. Here's the second one right there. And then the last one, watch the microburst right there. That's a microburst coming off the thunderstorm as it pushed down and created some uh, 40, 50 mile per hour wind gusts in the vicinity of uh, Magna. Now, we have a line of thunderstorms that are from Ogden out towards Tooele. That is going to march into Salt Lake City and you can see there are more thunderstorms behind it. So for the rest of tonight and into tomorrow morning, the forecast is for thunder showers, 62 at 10 p.m., 49 degrees in the morning, scattered thunder showers by noon, scattered thunder showers, and then in the afternoon, partly cloudy, isolated thunder showers as the storm pulls away, and then Friday, part, uh, pretty good day, 74 and partly cloudy. Here's the culprit. It's an upper level low that is spinning. You see the counterclockwise flow there. It's picking up a little bit of tropical moisture and you have this clash zone right here. The warm air coming up and clashing against the cooler air. And you can definitely see the cooler temperatures like Logan at 58, Ogden 64, Salt Lake 70, and then Provo at 77. So here's where we are right now. The cold front moves by. So during the night and tomorrow in the morning, quieting down, but you see right here at noontime some lingering showers and thunder showers. By 6 p.m. they should be gone. And then on Friday, a few showers trying to move into the Ruby Mountains and out towards Elko, but it uh, looks like a pretty good day on Friday for us. So, Uinta Mountains, maybe a, just an isolated storm right along the uh, rim of the Uintas. In the south, it's a beautiful day. A little wind from the north as the front goes by. It's a dry cold front, 90 in St. George, 96 for your high in Mesquite. We'll warm up to the low 90s and then cool a little bit and then back up right to the mid 90s. This is a summer type forecast, but, uh, but believe it or not, St. George average high right now is 96. So we're actually where we should be. Here are the thunder showers in the morning to the midday, and then look what happens in the afternoon. We start to see a little bit of sunshine mixed in with clouds. Now notice the high temperatures, though, only in the 60s. And my friends, I think you're going to like this forecast. Other than Monday, the weekend right now, 77 and 80 on Saturday and Sunday. Monday, an isolated storm, but we're warming it up to 82 on Tuesday, 84 on Wednesday. Now, when this happens, when we have this many days in a row in the 80s, if we were going into the 90s, we would have a huge melt. So it, I, I think it's probably good to go to the 80s and sure. not the 90s. Mm -hmm. That's when, warm enough. Yeah. That's warm yeah. enough. And it's okay for everybody. Hits the 90s. Boy, the river's going to roll.